It's election day. I'm Storm Chief Meteorologist Jason Myers. Weather plays a big role in whether or not people head out to vote. So for this midterm election, I thought it'd be fun to take a look at where the best and the worst voting places are across the entire country. And right now, we have a big area of high pressure in the southeast. That means dry conditions in the west another big area of high pressure where we are seeing dry conditions once again. And rain, I got to tell you, is probably the number one factor that keeps people away from the polls. And there's a big front cutting through the middle of the country from Wisconsin down through Texas. And that means a lot of rain for parts of Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. But most of the rain is going to fall in an area from Dallas, Texas to Little Rock, Arkansas with an inch possibly two falling there during voting time. Runner up, likely the Pacific Northwest with almost an inch of rain expected there. Cold weather can also keep people inside and away from the voting booth and the coldest spots today will likely be Yellowstone Park where I doubt too many animals will be voting. It's going to be about a high of 35 there. But second place, Caribou, Maine, where people are more likely to head to the polls assuming they're braving the cold high of 36 there today. Now that we have the worst weather out of the way, let's look at where weather shouldn't be an excuse for staying home. Get out and vote. The entire southeast winds here with dry conditions and warmer than average temperatures. A close second is Southern California where it's warm and dry, but it's just a little on the cool side for the week of November. All in all, not too bad. So thanks for watching and let me know in the comments below if you braved the weather to go cast your vote.